Need major players on your team? Listen to my latest Gold Table Talk conversation on identifying those key players and getting them into your circle to achieve your goal. Don't miss our next free Zoom group session every Monday night at 7.30. Visit my website, 2020rgd.com, and click the Zoom link and get right in. Also, listen to my podcast and be inspired to achieve your goals. Because we want our goals to be actionable and achievable. But the one thing I want to talk about is how is our goal processing system doing on our special goals we all have our unique goals how is your gps working to get you to your end to your target to your success how is that working out well that's a rhetorical question i want you to think about that because it's very important that we think about you know how is it going you know we have to judge it like you know, what What do I need to possibly rearrange to, you know, get my goal processing system, you know, on course. You know, we want to be on course. We want to have it all mapped out and, and we're on course. And some of us have more than one goal going at one time. So, so you know, we may have to look at a, a few of them. But one of the things I wanted to talk about tonight is who is in your circle that can help you achieve your goal. Uh, we must identify certain people who are going to be vital and instrumental in our goals. And um, I just want us to just look at it and, you know, and if you hadn't looked at it, maybe you'll look at it a little closer and say, hey, well, maybe I do need this type of person um, you know, on my team, so to speak. So that's what I want to talk about tonight. Who is in our circle that's going to be instrumental to getting our goals done? And, um, you know, and that's so important because, you know, no man's an island. And, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, I don't know where gold diggers would be, you know? So I just thank God for you guys. You guys have been so instrumental in, in um, let me just let this person in, in building up gold diggers to the point that, you know, other people are actually looking at the show. But, um, you know, let me let me just tell you this story. You know, I, I, I always love this spiritual story about, you know, well, not spiritual, but biblical story about um, how God used Esther to stop the king from annihilating, you know, her people. And I like to, for you to just look at the characters that were in that story. You know, of course it was Esther, the king, you know, her cousin Mordecai. And then it was, you know, that king's servant who was the one that was making the call because Mordecai would not bow down to him. You know, Mordecai said, I'm only bowing down to God. I don't care what you do to me. And so that's just, you know, the story in a nutshell. But just what I want you to look at, who were the key players on stopping that annihilation besides Esther, you know? And um, so it's just something to, a story that I love to look at because everyone is playing in to the same end, you know? Um, Mordecai, you know, he, he has his role in it by letting her know he was very important by letting her know that she could use her influence, you know, and, um, you know, there's, there's some people around that have a lot of influence that, that can help us in a positive way, you know, in a positive way. And you never know who knows who, and Lisa Turner knows what I'm talking, you never know who knows who you find out just how small the world is you know when you're trying to to connect with people and you'd be like oh my god you know that person and oh my god you know that person and you, and you just can't believe it you know so and that's a good thing but so we, yes will somebody get ready to say something okay well you could go on mute someone someone's not on mute but nevertheless 
Um, so we have to look to see who is in our circle. And if some people are missing from our team to get our goal done, then we need to seek out those individuals who can make our burden light, who can make the load lighter, someone that has um, the skill set, if you will, or the knowledge. You just, you know. So I want us to look around because we want to be successful. We're six weeks into the new year. We're all doing our own individual goals. Is, is anybody trying to do a crazy goal that they want to share? Anybody trying to do something that's like a crazy goal that you know that you're going for? It? Anybody trying to do anything crazy? I like to call it crazy, but it ain't crazy. I think if it's like beyond you, then it's really stretching you. And, and when it stretches you, then it's really going to, in my opinion, bring you closer to God. Because some of these goals, when they're way out there, you know, it's only the Lord that's going to get you across that river. So anybody got any anything they want to share that might be something that is out of their realm, but they're going for it? Okay. Well, think I, about something. Think about yes. something. This is Lisa. I don't. I don't have a crazy stretch goal per se, uh -huh. but God see. God seems to be leading me somewhere that I'm like, okay, what's going on? So were you just talking about the network and knowing your people? I just got a phone call from somebody tonight, out of the clear blue, looking for a venue and wanting to know where he could have a show at in Atlanta and telling me all about how successful it was in Atlantic City. And then immediately, like my brain just started going and I gave him like five places. And then he says, and I have these network uh, connections where we're putting comedians on networks. And I said, oh, I know someone who's looking for network connections. <laughs> okay. Said, and he said, oh, I'd love to connect with her. <laughs> so. I, it seems like in the last, I don't know, two to three weeks, like I'm the, I have been able to connect people and be the middleman for a few things. So I'm like, okay, God, can I, can I make that into something? So I think God is leading me to somewhere that I didn't envision, but um, I've been praying on it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I, I like that because, you know, things can come along and 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 we don't know why they're there and then next you know like oh that's why they're there that's why i have to know that you know so you know god is so you know he, he's he's very creative and we know that and he uses people around us and and that is is just so great so you know no man is an island and um so we're going to just talk about four types of people that we can just look and see are they in what I'm trying to do or do I need to bring them in to help me do what I'm trying to do? So the first one I want to talk about is mentors. Um, mentors are very good when you're trying to do something and then you find somebody that has already did that, you know? So mentors are very, very important. And, um, you know, they, they can literally leapfrog you, you know, when you go do an internship, you know, you're learning and or you're doing, you're being an apprentice to something, but when you secure a mentor that can help you on this ride, you know, we talk about that GPS. Well, they already know the coordinates to get there because they're there, you know, so we need to identify mentors in our life that can help us you know i have all kinds of mentors i have a spiritual mentors and um you know and they really help me stay the course because i want to evolve <laughs> you know they just they have just years of wisdom and you know and and they're helping me still to grow spiritually you know in, in this game you never arrive you continue to grow and his grace, you know, so, you know, so I'm just giving an example of a spiritual mentor, um, you know, um, anybody else want to talk about their mentor or someone that they know that's helping them to achieve their goals or anything like that? 
please go. On. Well, Miss D, you know you're my mentor. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. God bless you. All God around. Bless you. I can call you with anything and you just you can lead me and just encourage me and just make me feel like I'm on top of the world. <laughs> God bless you. Oh man, and and I and I love doing that, Tabitha, because I am so sure that when you lay your hands to the plow, that you're going to do exactly what you want to do. And 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 you're such a, a, a wonderful person. You know that prayer is is number one there. You know, so thank you, thank you for that. I I, I love being that. And you know, we are either the the mentor or the mentee, and I happen to be both. <laughs> I want both sides of, of the spectrum. But um, mentors are are so critical and and vital when we're trying to achieve something that. We, we've never done, you know, if people that uh, have one young lady that um, um, it's Phaedra, Tabitha, you know, Phaedra. Phaedra is um, an artist. She, she sings, she acts, she does all of that. And because of her drive and, and her spiritual life, she's made her way right into the whining circle. You know, she went to college in, in Nashville and made herself you know, the, the energy that she had put her right to her idols and her mentors. And now she's a student under them. And, and it's just amazing. You know, you know, she had, oh, she doesn't want to sing exactly like her, but she wants that, um, I guess you could say that those skills that have, you know, that she has, and she can teach her how to be a better singer, you know, so you know, so we have to seek out those individuals and, and, you know, sometimes we gotta be aggressive, you know, as a preacher, you know, that there's some preachers that, you know, that have a skill set that, I mean, it's just wonderful, you know, and I, and I desire to be a better preacher and I, and I love to sit under preachers that don't have a problem teaching you, you know, and um and i and i just think that i've been so blessed to sit under some great preachers that have really um you know helped me to be a better um preacher you know so mentors is one so we can go on and on and i think we got the point with that but find, yes um i just wanted to say with the mentors too i think that sometimes it's best to pray on it because mm -hmm. sometimes Need you Absolutely. So just to be able to have that spirit of discernment to know when somebody's right to you. Absolutely. And that's an excellent per, uh, point to be able to discern that spirit. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like that. Thank you, Tabitha. That's very important because the key is you want to be able to connect. <laughs> you want to be able to connect and, and, um, be able to learn from that person so that that is very important okay so mentors is is one another one i like to call it the yes person you know the yes person in your life the person you you want um to influence the person that you know um let's just say that lisa just talked about that could be a yes person for me because if i'm looking to find a slot and this person has you know, um, the, you know, the authority to allow me to have a slot on their network, then that's that yes person that can, you know, that can make that happen. So we have to find people that have, you know, that can give us the yes that we need to be able to do what we're trying to do and get to the places that we're trying to get. You know, if you're on your job and you're trying to excel in your career and you know that there's a certain level of management and you know which manager has the managing power and the authority to elevate you to the position that you you know you want to go uh you know to get so that's that's a person that's your yes person that's the person you know i i wouldn't want to say um kiss up to but a person that you want to be visible so they can see your talent and, and want to, um, you know, want to elevate you. So sometimes we have to, to make ourselves visible to those yes people 
that are able to um, take us to the to the next level. So that's that's a um, my take on the yes person. Anybody have a yes person in 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 your circle that you know that that is able to help you? Anyone have a yes person? I have somebody that I call them, I consider them more like a sponsor. I guess it's the same thing as a yes person. Mm -hmm. It is somebody who um, understands my goal professionally and nice. is talking me up in the right circles so that I can get where I need to go professionally. And so I've made sure to um, place myself in every job that I've worked on in those inner circles to make sure that I'm connected to the people who are either in positions or positions of power that can help me to elevate where I want to go in my career. So that yep. has been helpful. That's that network. That's very good. That is very, very good. You know, um, that networking is so powerful and you, sometimes you really have to be aggressive. If you're really trying to get where you're trying to go, you're going to have to establish a relationships with those yes people and if you can get to them if you can't get directly to them then you gonna have to find what we call connectors you know connectors are are linkers that they're the ones that link you like lisa is is like a potential link i hope <laughs> you know she's gonna link me to someone that is that can you know help me and um another way to broaden your network you know, if you'd really, you know, if you, if it is everybody on, on LinkedIn, because LinkedIn has become a very powerful tool to link in you to the right people. And because it's another platform, you can get to it by inboxing people. You know, you can, if you know a certain manager and you're like, I can't get my resume to them this way. Sometimes if you can, send it directly to people and they will accept it you know they will take it so that's another way to get linked to those yes people you know people that have the authority to to help you to do what you're trying to do so that's another way to broaden your network and definitely you know i'm on linkedin on three different ways you know my day job my business and my preaching. I'm on there three different ways, you know, to attract three different type of networks that I'm associated with, you know, that I, that I, you know, that I care to be associated with, you know, and, um, and it has been very helpful to, to be able to connect with a lot of people, you know, things are not like, you know, when you connect with people today, it's, it's not even like it used to be. It's not, you know, like you meet somebody and then, you're courting them and all that kind of stuff. Now with network, you can go right in to get what you're trying to get. And if someone can, if you can prove your potential or your resume is what it say it is, you can move very quickly these days, you know, and it's not the whole, you can jump the line, you know, and and, and you can be prayerful about it before you go in there. God show me the right person to get me where I'm trying to go. And you'd be surprised what, what a jump back at you. But, Teacher, um, yes. I would like to ask on this call, is there anyone in this call that's a grant writer? Because I know someone that's looking for a grant writer, like right now, she got a job and she, part of her job is finding somebody to write grants for the company that she just got hired for. They need grants like immediately. And my understanding is the person's going to get a percentage of the monies that they, that the grant brings in. So, if anybody knows someone in their immediate circle that's a grant writer, please forward me their information. She's already followed up with me two or three times to see if I've helped, you know, if I've identified somebody that, you know, she can use. I do have one person I'm waiting to, you know, call me back who's a professor and, and writes grants, but waiting for, you know, for that person to get back to me. So I just, you know, in the spirit of networking and LinkedIn, I just wanted right. to throw that out there um, that, uh, yeah, I mean, you just don't know how the connection is going to come. Right. I, I certainly don't know anyone down here that does that. I I, I do have um, the lady that's going to be our guest next week. She she is a grant writer, but she lives in Florida. She lives in Florida. Um, I don't think it matters. 
Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it matters where they are. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it matters then, where they. Um, okay. Then I could probably pass that along to you. Okay, no problem. No problem. And if anyone knows, of course, they they're certainly um, a give back to you for sure. All right, so. We talked about mentors. We talked about the yes person and the linkers. The one I really like is, um, and this person is to me very important in your circle when you're trying to achieve something is, is a sidekick, you know, a sidekick. You know how in stories, you know, Batman was always better with Robin or Neo was, was better with Trinity, you know, someone that you can really connect with. And, you know, for me, you know, um, my husband is, is, a, is a good sidekick for me, you know, because, you know, I can, it, it, he helps me, you know, and he'll say the same thing about me to him that I'm his sidekick, you know, because, you know, we, we try to um, embrace each other's, you know, goals or, you know, aspirations and, and try to, to bring that through. But of course, your girlfriends are great sidekicks. Your girlfriends are, sick, are great sidekicks. And, um, you know, sometimes we, you, you'll find friends that, that are not too busy to, to help you, you know. And, um, you know, like I said in the beginning of this call, you guys have been so instrumental and getting gold diggers off the ground and, and have been um, major <laughs> sidekicks in helping me in so many ways. And, you know, I'll, you know, Lisa, I just want to, you know, even say Lisa went out on my page. She went out on my, excuse me, my website and, you know, it was under construction and um, we're trying to get it right. And I, and I had asked, you know, can you guys go out and look and see if you see something that I can make better, you know, cause that's what I want to do. I want to make it better or something that, you know, that maybe needs to be corrected or whatever. And she took the time and um, helped me to, to get the bio to be more um, polished, if you will. And I, and I appreciated that so much, you know? And so those are the kind of things that, you know, we need to have people that are able to to help us, you know, and, um, and, and, and help us be better than what we are and, and have our back and, you know, have that voice, you know, and, um, and critique us, you know, and, and don't be scared of that, you know, cause you want to be better, <laughs> you know, and that's so important. And when, when I was first started out preaching, you know, um, the, you know, my mentor, the, you know, the, the, the pastor at the time was, was so helpful, you know, and, and I, I got to the point that when I was finished, I'd ready a critique myself and, and he would help me, you know, or, or he'll say I'm being too hard on myself, you know, and, um, so sidekicks are, are very important, you know, um, Another thing about sidekick, sidekick groups are very important. You know, um, groups are so powerful and supportive. And um, gold diggers is, is just that. You know, we're gold driven. So, you know, this is a sidekick group. You know, this is a sidekick group. And we come here and we support one another and, um, and, and empower one another the best that we can and that is the beauty of sidekick groups you know um don't underestimate the power of a group because that's another networking tool you know you don't know who's sitting in that group you know um you just never know i i know years ago um i attended um these groups and you just be surprised. You never know who you're sitting among. You know, churches are the same thing. These are groups and you never know who is in the midst of that congregation, you know? So that's why the Bible says you gotta make your request known, you know? So people are know 
what the need is, you know. So that is um, very important. So now I want to open the floor and out of those four types of people that are going to help us be instrumental, um, what can you, you know, uh, which one of those um, people do you want to either put in your group or you don't have in your group? And I guess that's saying the same thing. <laughs> Who do you want to put in your group? Or, you know, or maybe you have that person in there. Because this is very important that we look around. We're trying to get somewhere, but we need help. And, um, and we need certain people in the group. So, Angela, you already spoke. You're on a roll. <laughs> You're on a roll. You are on a roll. Hmm. And it's funny because when you first opened up, you were talking about social media and lives. And I see you and Tabitha doing your lives. I did one tonight. I hate doing them. <laughs> it, is not, it is not my favorite thing to do, but you're right. It's one of the great ways of networking these days. And you get in there and you just be yourself and it's the most natural thing but it's not natural for me to want right. to you know put myself in the spotlight like that so i'm trying to be better and do better with with going live and so i thank lisa because she she turned out today for my live i was doing one for my my uh jewelry line and so she was able to to come in she was a contender for a gift too so i had a Ooh. little spin wheel <laughs> and she came this <laughs> close to winning it so I'm glad that she was able to come out. And this group has really been like an inspiring group to me. I'm sharing this information with as any, many people as I can. I have sidekicks in the business who are, you know, encouraging me and pushing me and saying, don't give up. You can do this. Stay the course. You got this. And when you were talking about goals, so the, I've only been in the business since August of last year. And I think my largest month in sales was about $2,000. So my goal for the month of March, which is the multiple myeloma month, it's the month of awareness for multiple myeloma, which is the cancer my mother died from. My mm. goal is five grand next month. And so I'm going to fundraise, hopefully and get connected with the organization and ho hopefully be able to hit a five grand month and be able to donate, you know, 50% of my commission to the multiple myeloma foundation. So it's wow. not just about me, it's an ability for me to be able to give back to the foundation. Okay, well, we certainly want to support that effort. So you keep us posted with that. You know, going live, when when I uh, told my other sidekick there, uh, my cousin Desi, that I was going to be doing this, you know, and Desi reminded me, she said, you know what you got to do? You got to send reminders and let people know that you're going and, and and I and I said, okay, I'll I'll do that right now. And I did, you know, and 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 I think that did help me to get more people to respond and to come on. So, you know, I, I'm not a live person either. You know, I I almost want to just cover my face when I'm live. But you know, Tabitha and Desi, they've just made it seem like it's second nature the way they do it. You know, Tabitha just get on and just be like, you know. And I'm like, oh man. And now I know Zoom is a like a live, but it's not the live live, you know? So I don't consider it the live, you know? But it's true, you get a lot of traction if you go live, you know? You're gonna have to go live on Facebook. You have to go live on Instagram. You're gonna have to go live on YouTube. You know, there's so many platforms where there's just so much, you know, uh, people that are going to be able to view it, you know. So in our business, we're going to have to get with it. <laughs> we're going to have to get with it. So, you know, Sean doesn't like to go live. I guess you guys saw that. He was like, oh, no, I'm not, a, I'm not a live guy. And I'm like, you know, come on, Sean, you, we can do this now. He'll do a Zoom and, and for whatever reason, I won't bother him the same as me. But the live, nah. So I guess you just have to just go live. <laughs> you just gotta do it. You gotta do it um, 
more. That's what I've heard. It's like it's it becomes second nature. The more that you do it, the more comfortable you get with doing it. And it really just becomes second nature. I just haven't done it enough where I feel comfortable with it. And then I go back and I'll replay it and I'll critique myself. And it's like, oh, my gosh, why did I say that? Why didn't I look up? You know, all of those kind of things. But that's a part of the process of growing. So. Right, right. You know, when I when I looked at mine, you know, it's like Desi. So what do you, what do you think? And Desi was like, "Oh no, you 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 seem to be okay, right, Des?" <laughs> yeah, you was good. I liked it. Oh, you you liked it, huh? Mm-hmm. It was good. Okay, thank you. I was, yeah, I was telling you, just whatever you were saying was keeping everyone interested, so you okay. kept everyone engaged. Okay.